on, you know the vibes, www.damecomic.com, D-A-Y-M-C-O-M-I-C.com. Click the link below, order your comic books right now. They're dropping in a few months. Don't be without one. Mm. Hey guys, what's going on? Antonio here. Just finished watching uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, the first episode uh, off of uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh, big thumbs up. I was really, really pleased with what I saw. I'm going to get more into that on my uh, podcast. But uh, yeah, definite thumbs up. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because uh, there was a blog post from uh, Ed Brubaker who co-created Winter Soldier with uh, Steve Epting. And, you know, he kind of mentioned that, you know, he's happy for the success for the show and all that kind of thing. But he kind of has some, you know, it's kind of bittersweet for him because Marvel's not paying him. You know, he's not making any money off of these these uh, movies that Marvel is making and these TV shows and all that. So it, it's kind of a, a funny situation i I thought they would at least give him at least uh i know with some characters they give the person that co-created they give them an ownership credit you know like they'll give you like a fourth of the character like 25 percent, and then so like 50 percent belongs to the company and then 25 percent belongs to the artist and 25 percent would belong to the the writer on the series and that's how they would break that down but on some characters and it sounds like uh the winter soldier is one of those marvel would feel like well you didn't actually create anything because uh jack kirby and joe simon actually created bucky barnes that's not in dispute but they used ed brubaker's ideas and backstory to create the movie like when they did they did Captain America, the Winter Soldier. They used his his whole, I mean, hell, his whole Winter Soldier storyline was used as the basis to write that movie. So, and well, and actually, they um, they actually had Ed Brubaker in the Winter Soldier. He had a cameo in that movie. So, I mean, they thanked him in the credits and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they, they're acknowledging his contribution. But he ain't getting paid. And one thing he, he noticed, he was like, they're making millions off something, you know, I created. And he said, I understand I, it was a work for hire, but I'm not really being compensated. And, you know, you can get into some of the other uh, creators in the past. that You know, hell, Stan Lee had to sue. Uh, Stan Lee had legal issues with Marvel a couple of times. The last time was when they did... I think it was around after the first Spider-Man movie, the the uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, and they have, they had have made like eight hundred some million dollars, and I think they only gave Stan like about two or three million dollars, and he was like, "Wait a minute, y'all supposed to give me more money than that?" And you know he filed a lawsuit, but they they quickly as soon as Stan expressed because they wanted they wanted to have a good relationship with Stan Lee, they knew that was a bad look. And so uh, they they settled that and stand. You know, everybody came out and shook uh, shook hands and you know and made up uh, and and they broke they broke stand off some more money. Um, I mean, they made several billion dollars just off Spider Man alone and all these other things that Stan created. But Ed Brubaker should definitely get something. Obviously, like I said, he didn't create Bucky Barnes, but the Winter Soldier came out of his head um you know and obviously him and and steve epting should be getting compensated for that so i'm i'm you know i'm sad to see that but maybe uh, disney or marvel will grow a conscience and take care of him but uh legally because he did he did specifically mention that he's not planning on filing the lawsuit um which I don't know. Did I? You obviously Disney got deep pockets, so I don't know what kind of a legal uh, leg he would have to stand on. But uh, yeah, he he feel a certain type of way because they're not they're not compensating him, and I understand that. Um, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I'm out. Thank you for watching. 
please like and subscribe. And please check out my podcast at anchor.fm slash Akari Press or just type in Akari Press on your favorite streaming platform today.